Hi guys, this is Tina back again. Uh, right, so I'm here because obviously I didn't have enough space to be able to kind of do this um, video, you know, all with the other items. So this is a massive, massive, massive kit. Um, it's bound with this gorgeous black satin ribbon. Now I have to just point out for some reason, this ribbon um, has got hot glue bits kind of stuck on it in places. So I have tried to pick it off, but unfortunately I cannot pick it off. So I just do want to point that out, that one or two places along here, it's got hot glue kind of stuck on there. Um, I think I have now shown you all the places where it is, but I just want to point that out because, you know, I always like to kind of show people what they're getting, you know, warts and all. Um, so that's, that's on the ribbon. Right, all the negative out of the way now. So the actual kit itself, if you watched my process video, I did a process video that was hugely inspired by uh, Nancy's Fancies, one of my design team entries, uh, where she used my symphony orchestra kit and mixed it with the um, fabulous flowers and the gorgeous girl flower add-ons. Um, really felt hugely inspired by that. I would never have mixed the two things, but they looked gorgeous. So I've made a very large kit here. Hopefully this would be the amount to do an entire journal. Um, so obviously this is slightly um, dearer than my, you know, regular kits that I do because obviously this is massive. So if I just go through all the items kind of one at a time. So I'll start with these because these are kind of probably the most... Um, you know, just kind of plainer items. So this one is obviously one of the items itself, obviously could be popped into a journal. Oops, it could either be kind of clipped onto a page or it could obviously be glued into a journal. It is obviously an envelope and I've kind of collaged up the front using the flowers, um, some of the background pages and the symphony orchestra kit, lots of lace going on here, that gorgeous bow and some faux de monte out there. Now, inside the envelope, you know, not to be <laughs> used like this in the journal, probably, but just, fine, you know, for um, storage, I've just popped in a few of the um, items. So you've got here one of the journaling cards from the Symphony Orchestra, and I've just popped on a flower here and done the flower as a pocket, where I've just popped in a couple of tickets there from the um, Symphony Orchestra kit. So they just go in there like that. All of the symphony orchestra, or 97% of the symphony orchestra has all been coffee dyed. The fabulous flowers, some have been coffee dyed, some haven't, but all of it has been distressing. So it all blends in and kind of looks like it's been coffee dyed. So there's that one. The next one here, I made a little kind of fold out kind of flip. This is just from a couple of the um, little journaling cards from the symphony orchestra. And I've just obviously popped some lace down here kind of to strengthen the spine. And then I've popped on the word treasured and some flowers here and some little pearl trim. This here, this is another one of the um, journaling cards. This is taken from a real vintage photo that I uh, purchased. And obviously it's been shrunk down. And I've just popped a flower in the middle, which I thought was quite fun as a little kind of tab there for that. This is one of the pockets from the Symphony Orchestra kit. So obviously I've just literally cut it out and you know folded it for whoever buys the kit. And then just popped on some flowers and some lace and some faux de monte up there. Then here you've got a couple of the tags from the kit and I've just literally popped some flowers on the top and this one I've just popped a flower down there and they're just kind of ready to pop in. This one here, another journaling card from the kit and again some flowers just popped on like that. And then here, this is um, the envelope from the kit and again it's all been just coffee dyed and I've obviously just glued it, you know, assembled it as an envelope. And then I've just popped some lace trim and a little flower there down in the corner. So this one here, this is one of the pieces from the kit. It's a little banner. So all I've done is I've taken the um, some fabric and I've stuck that onto there. I'm just reaching around to see if I've got anything that I can kind of demonstrate these pieces on. I don't think I've got a blank journal today, which is annoying. 
Let me just have a look and see whether I can get anything else. Right. So I've got some card here, so I'll just, I'll just use this. So all I've done here is I've glued on some fabric on the back to kind of reinforce it. And then I've popped some flowers either end and a couple of pearl trims. And that would obviously just glue on there. Suggestion as a belly band. I mean, obviously it would be completely and utterly up to you how you use that. But, you know, kind of glue it on in the middle and then you've got yourself a little belly band there. So that's those items that were in the envelope. So the next ones here, I have made a little kind of pouch or bag here from again some of the background pages. I have decorated obviously the outside of the bag and that could all be deconstructed and used in your projects. So you've got some lace trim down here, you've got some diamante down here, little word fabulous flowers and a little um, piece from the kit there and some lace trim across the top. And then on the back, I've used one of the pockets from the Symphony Orchestra kit. Again, decorated it up with a flower and a butterfly and popped some pearl trim on there. Stuffed that full of items and then just collaged some items up here with another item from the kit. Some lace, a flower, the word happiness. And then I've attached here with a bulb pin a little bow. So that could obviously be taken off and used in your projects. And then going back to this side, I did a little belly band here running down the side. So inside that, I've got here just a journaling card from the kit. I've just popped a flower on with some lace. That just went in like that. I've stapled on some fabric ruffle here. So that can literally be unstapled just in there. And obviously then this could be used on your project. Then what were tucked in the back pocket are some more journaling cards, which again, I've just decorated up with some flowers um, and some lace in places. Then I've left a couple plain here. So just extra pieces from the kit. So that you've got some kind of extras. So they just go, oops, back in there. Then inside the pouch, which actually almost forgot. You've also got um, one of my little velvet padded yo-yos. So that's just in black. It's got some little satin and a satin rosebud in the middle. So again, that could just be kind of glued onto a cover or, you know, have you like. I've also included a little piece of black lace for if you wanted to kind of layer anything, um, you know, kind of if you were doing a cover or anything. So, you know, it's not huge, but to be honest, you know, with these things, a little goes a long way I find so you know you should be able to kind of do something you know with that so that's just attached here with a little bulldog clip like that then inside of there you've got this one here which is a kind of um, belly band which again this is just some of the background papers and I've just literally decorated with lots of, let me just raise my tripod slightly more, lots of flowers and some lace trim kind of top and bottom there and some faux de monte and one of the little banners there from the symphony orchestra kit. And then I just popped in this gorgeous image from the kit with a flower there. So that's that one. This is done in the style of the Patricia Viramonte's book page pockets, but it's the background pages instead. I've just popped on one of the banners down the side with some flowers there around it and some lace trim at the top. Sorry, I've just got some hot glue threads that I've just spotted. Um, and some faux de monte there and a little resin flower down there. Got the word instinctive. And there you've just got a journaling card and I just popped a butterfly on. That just goes there. And again, you just kind of pop that onto a page like that. This one is a um, Patricia Viramonte's book page pocket and I've just layered up some book pe uh, scrap uh, oh, background page from the background pages kit. A little frame from the symphony orchestra, this image and then some flowers all around and some lace trim top and bottom and then some faux de monte. And I just popped in one of the tags from the symphony orchestra 
with a little flower on there and that just goes in like that so again that's how that would look then here I just made a little kind of um, booklet so I've tied it with some string and this has just been made from some of the background pages layered up one of the images from the um, symphony orchestra kit the word wonder that's on some of this gorgeous fabric and some lace trim down there and these beautiful blue flowers and then opening that up you've got a piece from the kit with a flower that's acting like a tuck spot to tuck in this um, journaling card and then obviously you've got a thumb hole there with another little journaling card there at the top so and obviously I have um, you know chosen to use string for this but obviously if you didn't like the string you could always just peel it off it's just glued on the back if I show you it's just glued across here so you can just peel that off um, and pop it down but I quite like the you know tied up effect so that can just go on there then here we did this one together in the craft with me um, so again you could just kind of glue that down in a couple of spaces there as a tuck spot this one here um, I can't remember whether we did this on the craft with me or not um, but again you've got various different pieces layered up here and then this is also acting as a little pocket there where you've got another journaling card in there so again if this were kind of in the corner there at the bottom of one of the pages that's how that would look you've got some flowers some faux monte and I would just glue that down kind of like that in two areas and then you've got it as a tuck there and you'd also have it as a kind of tuck spot behind so that's how I'd use that then you've got another tag from the kit Oops. and again I've used some of that um, eyelash trim and I saw Artie Mays do some absolutely beautiful tags um, and she did this as the kind of tab so she put some ribbon at the top and then tied it with some thread so I thought I'd have a go with, of doing that and then I just attached the word heart strings on some fabric and a flower down there then here I just made a cluster so I made this using some of the background page and various flowers and a little piece from the kit some lace trim and some diamante and the word symphony so again you could just pop that oops onto a page like that and then you could use it as a little tuck spot this here is one of the pockets from the kit so I just popped on some flowers and some faux de monte and some lace trim and that would obviously just go you know glued on here pop into the corner and again you'd just have it as a, a pocket like that then here I've got another corner pocket with again um, some background page, some flowers, another element from the kit, some faux de monte and some lace and again you'd just kind of glue that in as a corner pocket glued on two sides and then just you know have it as a little tag placed there so that's those so you know huge amount of items in that little pouch then this pouch here so this one again has got with a mini peg I've included another one of my puffed yo-yos this one is um, it's got some lace around the edge it's got a little faux de monte kind of center really pretty black velvet and then I made a little bag here with some lace trim and just some elements layered up and some eyelash trim there and inside here I just stuffed it full of little elements from the kit that I had left over some words just just the leftover pieces really um, so you've got some extra pieces if you wanted to pop some on some planar pages and also some flowers so they've either been coffee dyed or oh, that one's been um, printed on the back so you know I hope you don't mind that um, or they've been inked up but they're all ready to go so you've got plenty of things that one's also been printed on oops printed on the back so but so you've got plenty of things to kind of decorate your journal and obviously keep the theme going so you've got all of those in here and obviously these pouches or this pouch itself could also be added into your journal then finally you've got this piece here which I just made um, a little kind of pouch here from the background page and then I've popped on two t uh, two pockets here so just take out the items from the pockets 
So as you can see what's going on here, so I've layered up one of the images from the orchestra kit, um, layered it up, got the word harmonious, some lace trim, some lace trim down the bottom, some faux, faux pearl trim there and some flowers, vintage sheet music, some more flowers, another piece here and some lace trim going across the top there and then on the back you've got another one of those bows which again I just attached with a bulb pin and another big pocket which if I just remove all the items from the pocket again that should be everything um, so again I've just layered up some various items from let me just raise my tripod again it's almost like it's slipping down um, so you've got some lace trim some other elements layered up here and some flowers and what have you um, and some lace trim down here another fabric yo-yo here it's kind of unfinished without a middle but I felt you know it looked quite nice like that um, so that's your packaging and inside there if I just do the kind of boring bits first you've just got another couple of elements from the kit that just literally they've been coffee dyed and cut out this one I've just added a flower then here you've got this is a little bit like my um belly band uh, bunches that we did in the fabulous flowers so all I've done is kind of created a belly band and I've literally edged it with with flowers so you've got an element from the symphony orchestra kit and another one here some lace trim and some diamante and just edged with the flowers so you know really pretty and again if you just stuck it down on the two sides or you could stick Sorry guys, I guess that was bound to happen, so my camera flicked off there. Uh, right, so we were just saying, so, or you could have this down the bottom as a kind of pocket, and obviously then you could, you know, pop things in like that. So that's that item there. Then you've got here, this is um, an envelope, which I've just decorated the front here um, with an element from the kit and some flowers, and again you could just kind of glue this on. You could glue it on kind of on three sides, and then you'd have it as... A little side pocket here and also the top loading part from the actual slit of the envelope that's been opened so that's that one then you've got here a little paper bag which again I made some of this from some more of that gorgeous break paper which I'm really into using at the moment um, and I've just decorated up with some lace trim a piece from the kit some flowers and some pearl trim and things and I've just popped in a little tag um, from the Symphony Orchestra kit with again some flower and lace. So that's that one. Then here again, this is another one of those kind of corner po uh, pockets. So this is a top corner. I would glue it down on kind of two sides and just pop it onto a corner here. And then you've got a little tuck spot here, which I'm sure I had something in there previously. So we'll just pop something in like that. So you'd have kind of your corner pocket there with a pocket here and obviously, you know, space there to be able to tuck something in down there. So that's that one. Then here you've got a little fold out. So I have just literally tucked it in like that behind this element from the kit and you've got some flowers there. And I've done this one like an envelope and inside you've got one of the round tags from the Symphony Orchestra kit with a flower there that just tucks in like that and again you could just glue that down on a page you know however you liked obviously that does tuck in all fingers and thumbs now there we go and you know you could have a kind of pocket there as well and then the final item here is another one of just the um, pockets from the kit and again I've just literally decorated this up with a little flower some lace trim and some faux de Monte and a few pearls down there and you just glue this in and obviously, you know, as per a regular pocket, you'd just use the top to tuck your things in. So it is enormous. Um, I mean, I think, again, and I said this, I think when I did the, um, I think I did the butterfly kit like this. I think you've got enough there to do an entire journal. Um, you know, I certainly think that I would find it enough. So hopefully kind of you guys would find it enough. So obviously, you know, hopefully you'd have kind of a lot of fun putting your journal together and obviously all you would need to do is provide the actual kind of basic journal itself. So hope that you like it and as I say it will be listed in my shop. So thank you very much for watching and I hope that you all have a great day. Thanks then, bye!